Hello again, and welcome back to Treasure Chest. I'm Adam, and guess who's back? Hi! Yes, she's joining me again for one of her all-time favorite games, and we are returning to the wonderful and wonderfully very expensive world of working designs with our next thing that we're digging out of the treasure chest. Dragon Force. Dragon Force on the Sega Saturn. Yes, I mentioned that Popful Mail is one of Allie's favorite games. More than once, Allie named Dragon Force actually her all-time favorite game. Yeah, I mean, I've... I played a lot, most of Working Designs games many, many times and beaten them many, many times. But this one in particular, I think I've beaten a lot. Now, I'm definitely going to need her help on this one because while I am, while I can easily play in just about every genre out there, one genre that I've never been the best at is strategy. And this is a full blown strategy game. This is gonna. This is gonna be tricky. Definitely gonna need her help. Well, once again, this is not an emulation. This is not a copy. This is an actual disc that's loaded into an actual Saturn, and that's very important because looking for this particular game on eBay, like any working designs game, you're gonna be paying out the ass for it. it looking up today, finding. Just the disc by itself, it's 170 bucks minimum. Complete in box, <laughs> at least 300. Yeah, I think this is one of the one of Working Designs' games where I still have the original box and manual somewhere. Yeah, not that she's going to be inclined to sell it, of course. No, I mean <laughs> it, it doesn't really matter to me. I just like playing. All right, let's get rolling. Yeah, she was smart enough to get on the ground floor. Uh, get on the ground floor when it came to working designs games. I I honestly don't know what made me choose some of their games as opposed to the fact that I never got on board with things like Zelda in the past. It could be just because their working designs as covers were very vibrant and they caught my attention. Now. Behold the vast land of Legendra. This bountiful land was molded from ashen waste and given the breath of life by the six goddesses. But this land was not simply given life alone. Ostia, the foremost goddess, fostered a special love for the new creation, blessed it with a sky bright and pure and lush rolling hills that spread from ocean to sparkling ocean. The people of Legendra rejoiced that they had found favor with Ostia, and life was good. However, as with all such tales bordering on morality plays, one lied in wait to cast a dark shadow of prosperity and tranquility in Legendra. That one, from time uncounted, was called Madra. He and his villainous legion scorched the land and dried the once sparkling seas with a burning fury unequaled in all creation. His singular goal was nothing less than complete annihilation of the beautiful land that Ostia and her sisters had created. Before the cruel hand of Madra, the people of Legendra had no hope of survival. Broken and despondent, they prayed fervently for a miracle. Suddenly, the sacred dragon Harzgalt lunged forth to block Madrak's advance. Enraged, Madrak turned his fiery ardor to Harzgalt. The battle between the holy dragon and the wicked god seemed to be without end. In its wake, the winds howled, the oceans crashed, and the vast land trembled violently. One thousand days passed, and Harzgalt had only enough strength remaining to lock Madruk into a sleep that would keep just long enough for eight chosen heroes to be born. 
now, that time is upon us. The final confrontation rushes forth. Now, what I was starting to say was, not all Working Designs games are next to impossible to get. There are a few that are available for download on the PS3, if you still have a PS3 hooked up. The Ark the Lad games, then, and Alundra. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, fun fact, the voiceover in the opening of this game is the same voice actor played the infamous villain, villain Galleon from the original Lunar series, it's the same voice actor. He's got a very particular sounding voice, so I didn't even have to look it up to know. You just kind of know. Okay, so I guess like <laughs> other, you know, I guess like other strategy games, you get to choose which country you start with. Yes, these are technically the eight heroes of the game are no surprise the eight kingdoms that you can play as, but uh, technically because I've I've already beaten the game, uh, if you go up here to the middle. Uh, Tradnor and Fandaria are actually not supposed to be available on your first playthrough, but they are here because I've already beaten the game, so it's technically unlocked. Okay, so I'll just ignore those at this point. Let's see. And also, it's good to... Every kingdom has its own benefits and downsides, depending on where it's located. Okay, do they actually put those stats on screen, or is this something that would be in the manual? No, I mean, you can just kind of look at the map and tell. Right. Like, for example, if, like, Tristan Nation is my favorite nation to play because it's basically surrounded by nothing on pretty much almost all sides. So it basically means that you have a safer place to start from when, when you're sending your troops out to try to conquer other nations. I don't know, it looks like Pale Moon has that advantage too. Well, Pale Moon is also, Tristan can come to Pale Moon, and what's the one next to it? Topaz, Topaz can come to Pale Moon, and High Moon can come to Pale Moon. And also, I, uh, Highland looks like it. Oh, uh, Highland, uh, yes. Highland looks like it's farther off, so it probably. Uh, so pro uh, uh, I would say Highland or Tristan are basically the best ones to start with if you haven't already completed the game and you can't play as Vandar. Alright. I guess I'll start with Highland. Mm -hmm. And it does give you a little blurb about King. Let's see. King Vane. Uh, King Vine, actually. After taking the throne of Highland at the age of 17, Vine quickly proved his worth as a capable, compassionate leader and cunning warrior. His reputation amongst the leader of, uh, amongst the people of Legendra has grown to the point that generals <laughs> plead to join his forces. So every nation has its own unique tactical situation and its own uh, unique backstory and leader. Lord Vine, the information concerning Fandaria. Have you already heard it? Yes, I have heard, but then I can't believe it. I thought Goldark actually had been placed in confinement. Yet he escaped, killed his brother, and seized the throne. He's a mad lion, just as his nickname suggests. Lord Vine, there is a most disturbing rumor. Rumor? Yes, that Goldark might begin the war. The rumor has already spread throughout our land. Ha! Ah, that nut puts the gun in gu- The goom in goombas. He's got him. Rugger, stop joking. Now is not the time. Well, we can see Working Design's translation work is still fine. Yeah. Just a little comment to lighten things up. Sheesh. I'll button down when you promise to lighten up. Besides, we're talking about Goldark here. Only an insane person would start a war right now. Didn't they just establish he's insane? Yes. He's a wacky cuckoo kind of guy. You just said it, asshole. But I don't think he's going to declare war. Lord Vine, a most terrible thing has, t has just happened. What's the matter? This was received from the Empire of Fandaria. It's a letter declaring war sent from Goldark himself. This letter has not only been sent to our country, but to others as well. What? Just as I suspected all along. He's insane, alright. 
all along? Brugger, you just said... Hey, I was just yanking your chain, Mr. Sirius. Why, you ignorant. Please, stop arguing. It doesn't become either of you. We have much larger issues now to resolve. Lord Vine, it appears as if our worst fear is realized. War looms with Fandaria. We cannot let the power of Fandaria intimidate us. We must plan an offensive to neutralize Goldark. That surely is the only way. You know Goldark will stop fighting Vol- hey. Will not stop fighting him. Uh, uh. You know Goldark would not stop fighting voluntarily. He'll kill everyone who refuses <clears throat> to surrender to him. People who uh, people who listen to my videos know I stutter. <laughs> Our path is decided for us. Then war is unavoidable. It does seem clear. Well, then we must hurry. There's no time to lose. Yeah, stop yakking. With luck, we can be at the front in two days' time. Get a good night's sleep before tomorrow. God, he's starting to sound like Leonidas in 300. Yeah. With the coming storm, sleep will be a precious commodity. Vine, Vine. Who is it? Who calls my name? It is I, Astia, goddess of your beautiful world. I must certainly be dreaming. Can it be that Astia herself appears before me? The one of compassion that stopped Madrak long, uh, once long ago? You, you are the reason Legendra exists. Does a different goddess show up to each of the heroes? No, it's it's the same goddess. She's basically the, the goddess. So she shows up to all of them. Okay. Fine, time is short. Listen carefully to my words. The death of your father and Goldark's war are related. These are not two accidental coincidences. Someone has planned what is happening very carefully. Someone who plots to revive the dark god Madruk. But how can that be? Soon this continent will be consumed by the evil of war. Fertile soil for Madruk's foul seed. Hey, fertile soil for Madruk's foul seed to grow strong. In fact, his awakening has already started. Fine. I cannot stem the tide of this war. The power it draws on is far too strong, too wicked. You alone hold the key to saving Legendra this time. Yeah, this time. Yeah. I I can but guide you. I bend to your will. Show me the way, goddess. You must search for the other chosen ones. Chosen ones? Yes, there is but one power strong enough to stop Madra. That power is shared by eight warriors. The eight chosen ones of the Dragon Force. Find them. Unite them. Lead them. Eight chosen ones of the Dragon Force? Yes, you are the first. Seven remain to be found. I'm one of the chosen? What's this? That is the proof of your calling. It is the crest of the Star Dragon, Harzgal. It shines brightly, anointing you and calling the others. If the eight meet and join their minds and hearts, each crest in the Union will act in concert with the rest. Power such that once unleashed, it can be called anywhere, even in the heat of battle. Fine. Time grows short. Your search must begin at once. Find the other seven chosen ones in haste. You must succeed quickly, or all shall be lost. I can hardly believe what you're telling me. The goddess herself appeared to you simply astounding. And it most certainly was not a dream. She was too specific, and it felt far too real. I sensed a sacred air about the castle yesterday. Perhaps it was Asti's presence. If she really was the goddess, why'd she only spout off? If she was a real goddess, She'd help us overthrow this gold arc nut and end all this. Silence, Rugger. Only a fool would dare to blaspheme Goddess Astia. How dare you question her wisdom and compassion? All right, all right. I get the picture. Sorry. The fact is, the Goddess will help us win the war. You shall see. However, it does not mean the way will be easy. Our victory shall be bought with the blood and souls. I pray only that the price is not too high. Now then, to the front. <clears throat> okay. Military council. So basically it's no surprise that the other seven are the other seven leaders of the other nations. That's not really hard to get. <clears throat> so your goal in this game is basically to overtake all the nations. And every time you overtake the main castle of a nation and defeat its leader, then you basically have a scene in which you, you realize that you're that they are one of the seven. Okay. 
that's not really spoiling. That's pretty easy okay. to figure okay, out. Okay, so Archives is the save point. Yes. Yeah, just go ahead and save over... Um... Oh. Is there enough room in internal RAM? Oh, wait a minute. You said, you said go ahead and erase one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, which one? Uh, erase one of the lower time, like the 46. That one? Yeah. There we go. Now you can just add your state. The book is returned to ash. Is reduced to ash. Yeah. Really? Do they have to get that over dramatic? <laughs> and there you are. Where are you exactly? Oh, it would be the one at the top, Vine, uh, vine level 3, e 710. Oh. Cool. Alright, map shows you the map and who controls what at any given time. So, right now, you're down there. You're the gray one. Of course, if you go to your name, Highland is up there. Yeah, there's Highland Castle. Okay, and obviously the spots that aren't already colored are basically up for the taking. Pretty much. They're, they're usually run by bandits. Okay. Alright, and domestic. Okay. Okay, like I said, awards, you usually get awards whenever somebody in battle completes a fight or does something good. And the game will tell you when you come back in here that you have an award to give and who to give it to. Now, um, you can actually give awards to people that they don't belong to. But it's not going to make an effect if it's an award that was supposed to be given to one of your main generals. Because they're basically going to be loyal to you no matter what. But if you have a general that was, say, captured from a fight earlier and you converted them to your side and they won a battle for you and they got an award and you didn't give them give it to them they may end up getting disgruntled and end up leaving you so awards are basically you only do awards when you have them to give out okay okay items that's pretty self-explanatory well items you get by basically using the search function to search your properties and if you find an item you can give it certain items to certain people Okay. So we're not talking about things like healing items and things like that. No. Okay. Audience? Audience, you can talk to your, your generals. Usually it's just random dialogue for the most part. They'll make a random comment about whatever. The more important part is the captive section. If you have captives that you've captured from battle, then you can try to talk to them every time you're in domestic. And you every time you speak to them, you're trying to win them over to your side to convert them into your army. Okay. I guess this is for showing the stats of each general? Yes. And it'll tell you also if generals are in the hospital because they, they lost battle and they need to be healed. Okay. And this over here is, of course, the medal section. Basically, any person can be any type, can, can control any type of soldier that they want, but you have to have a medal for that certain type and then you have to give it to that person in order for them to basically start the process of you know being able to control it so if you got a mage medal you could give it to Wan or however you want to pronounce his name and but he would start out with only 10 mages and then you'd have to basically level it up I was pronouncing him as Vine because that looked like a German name oh hey. so he controls soldiers and cavalry Link. Just soldiers. He's pretty low on the totem pole. Nina. Controls mages. And Rugger. Soldiers and monks. Now, e each different type of uh, thing sort of has a, a type that they're weak and strong against. So that, that you kind of figure out as you're fighting, but a lot of them make sense. Okay. I guess let's try a search here. Mm -hmm. I forget how often they'll let you search. It won't be every single time, but it's good to go in there and check anyway to see if you can search. And they'll give you a random person to search.
Hello? Are you Gillette? We need razors. <laughs> we need your assistance. Stop pestering me. You're worse than the phone company. I guess there are plenty of anachronisms in here. Yeah, there are. Sheesh, weirdo. And see, the, the background sounds will kind of let you know it'll be there either be a yay or a nay. So if you find someone, they may or may not join you. Okay, and fortify. And of course, search is where you find uh, items as well. Fortify. That's leveling up the castles that you control. Right now, I don't think you can do any of yours right now because you haven't done anything. Okay. Well, I guess let's... This concludes the meeting of the military council. Then, of course, it shows you year, month, and week up there. Yes. But, eh. Now hit the start button. Okay, that puts it on pause, because basically the game on this map is basically running in real time. So yeah. it's always good to keep it on pause so that you can go around and figure out what you want to do. Yeah, that's always been a sticking point when it, with me when it came to strategy games. When it's a turn-based strategy game, I can, do, I can do okay because of the fact that I'm able to take however long I want to think. But when it comes to real time, that uh, I've never been that great at thinking on my feet. Yeah, of course, this is obvious. Your flag is white for your nation, so basically if there's a white flag on a castle, it means you have people that control it from your nation. That castle over there is just totally empty. There doesn't seem to be anyone in it, so it's open for grabs. Okay. And then the enemies, like there's enemies from other nations and even bandits that are sitting on certain places. Like you can't control the place where that bandit is sitting. It's just a town. It's not like a castle, but he's sitting there on it. He stopped and paused there on it, so he's blocking your way, meaning you would probably end up having to fight him if you want to go that way. Okay. You might want to keep it paused while you're doing all this. Because your timer runs out. And when the timer runs out, you go back to domestic. Okay, so there's no generals, there's nobody in that one. So that one's op open for grabs. Okay. Now who do you have in your main cast there? Okay, Wan, Rooker, and Nina, those are your, some of your main generals, we're all here. Who's in the other one? And Galam and Link. Okay, so you're two si side guys. So everybody's all full up on their, uh, on their, um, if you go back into their, uh, into the castle, you can see, uh, Recruit. Please select a general. Yeah, recruiting is basically like filling up your, your max number of soldiers that you can, like if you, if you lose soldiers in battle. Okay, okay, well, they're, they're full up on theirs. Right, because nobody's done any fighting yet. All right, well, let's get into a fight. Okay. You want to try to take over the empty castle? Yes. All right. Okay, so... Okay, so you have... Technically, I don't count Wayan as a general, because I usually don't ever send the main guy out. But is this one of those cases in which if the main guy goes down, then the game's over? Pretty much. Okay. So I leave him at the castle. So you've only got two guys down here. I would at least send one guy from... Well, I would take one guy from the main castle, send him down there to the other castle. So deploy. So your leader would be whichever one of the side guys. Okay, let's, let's send Ruger. Okay. Okay, that would be if you want more, just deploy him, because he's the only one. Yes. Okay, select the other castle. No, not the empty castle, that castle. Okay, now go ahead and unpause it. And then once he gets down to that castle, just pause it again, and then basically combine him with one of the other generals here, and then... Uh, send them to the empty castle. That would be my okay. my way. I would probably send Rugger and Galam. They have the most I, I I figured yeah, I figured as much.
Now, before you unpause, yeah. uh, check out some of the surrounding area around where you're going. Okay. Let's see, there's an enemy castle right there. Who's in it? That's a black flag. That looks like... See, see oh, it's, it's Hickus. Yeah, see when it says Monarch is Hickus, Leader is Hickus? Yeah. It's probably like a bandit guy. He's not affiliated with a, with a nation. Okay. So how many generals does he have? Five. Oh, how many does he have? Yes. How many are in the castle? Just, Just him. him. Okay, so... He can't really send out people to, to snack. Alright. Alright, let's get moving. But you might have to worry about that other bandit sitting up there. He might come towards you. Don't know. There you go. Okay. So, so now you have to figure out what your next move. All right. Hey, okay, two generals there. Yeah, a ten and a twenty. I'm half tempted to take a stab at this one with only one. Let's see, how many people do you have left in your main cast? Binding Nina. Okay. Go ahead and leave the castle, uh, leave the one you just occupied. Go ahead and leave it empty and take both guys and go capture that other guy. Well, actually, it might be easier if you went and captured the bandit sitting above you. Because I don't think Hickus is going to leave the castle and come get you. Well, I was just thinking Hickus because that, that, that's only one general as opposed to two there. No, true, but at the same time, like, if you capture that castle... You're not going to have that many people to spread around yet to basically, like, you know, to, to, to you're only going to have one general per castle to hold it, hold four. And if the, those bandits to try to decide to march on your castle, you're going to have to fight them on the way back. All right, let's go ahead and give this a try. All right. Oh, that's their goal. You have to click on sort of below them where the little town is. Okay, you have to click on your army. Well, I already set for them to deploy. There? Yeah, just click on army and direct. Yeah, okay, now you need to direct them to that little town. Okay, why well. don't Okay, I think that... Yeah, if you're ever unsure about where your army's going or where another army is going, you can just look at their goal. Alright, let's see how the battles turn out. I know that this is famous for actually having huge armies in each fight. Ha! Huh. So now the Pig Lord Borgen sends you. What a coward! He cannot come to battle. He cannot come to battle us himself. Rather than fight, he sits on his couch and grows fatter. But his day of reckoning will come. We shall be oppressed by his corrupt rule no more. 
And since you are his men, you too will die. Oh, they, they must think you're part of something you're not. Yeah, since this was sort of a... That kind of encounter. You see how it says terrain effect? Yes. Usually that'll happen if you land, if you'll have more of a terrain effect if you're fighting on your own territory and somebody fights you, and they'll have more of a terrain effect if they if if it's another nation's property and you're fighting on it. Okay. So they'll get more of an advantage. Okay, so he only has ten soldiers. Oh, let's see. Go to info. And look at her. She has... Okay, she has soldiers. She has 20 soldiers and he has 10 soldiers. Meanwhile, we we have 20 soldiers and 20 cavalry. Okay, cavalry are a little bit better because they're on horseback. So use Rudger for this guy and then use the cavalry for... <coughs> use uh, the cavalry for... Um, Which general shall we send to the front? Yeah, just send, send Rudger. You mean Galam? No, Rugger. Rugger's the one with the soldiers. Yes. Galam's the one with the cavalry. Yeah. Cavalry's going to be better against soldiers, but she has more soldiers than he does. So you would want to save the cavalry for the one who has the more soldiers. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. See why strategy really isn't my genre? <laughs> who loves you, baby? Now, how active is the fighting? Um, everything's basically moving unless you pause it, kind of like on the map. And you can pause it to make decisions. And of course, each general has a timer down here, and when the timer runs out, then you can use a special attack. Okay. Alright, special... <laughs> Defensive formation, not concerted attack. Attack the, you know, attack the main force, defend the main force, concentrate front, soldiers speed up. Breach is like when they spread out. Defense is more like um, you keep more guys in the back that stay with you, and then a smaller bit will charge forward, and offense is the opposite. All right. All and right. then special basically means they all stay with you. All right, well, let's, let's see if we can run these guys down. Okay. Okay, advance, retreat, regroup, disperse, standby, or melee? Melee is basically kind of like... Just, you know, everybody go... If you hit melee, it's going to negate what you said in your your first thing, and everybody's just going to start charging. Okay, so... Uh, so so it, advance will just advance the ones in the front, like you wanted. And you can move the camera around to watch the fighting. You can also set the camera to auto, too, if you want it to just auto look at things. Okay, now hit, hit the button. Which button? I don't know. Okay, there you go. So go to special. Now, now that your power meter's blinking, you can do a sonic boom on the other enemy's general. It'll cut through some of the other enemies and then hit the general. Okay, sonic... You have to wait until you're, uh... Oh, I was switching on the auto camera. Oh, okay. Okay, now, can you do another special? Yeah, because it only uses 2 MP and you have 3. Oh, you got him. So he's going to be captured by you. And now, let's see, the enemy general Rock has been captured. Yep. Okay, now you just want to use the bomb to fight her. And these little things that they say, they're they're different every time. I and figured... also, if two characters know each other or it's special circumstances, they'll have special special things they say. And people think that Mortal Kombat 10 was the first to do that. Yeah. Watch and learn from a true knight of justice. 
I'll show you no mercy. A lot of them are pretty generic. It's only when you get two people together that know each other that it becomes different. Okay, she's doing special formation. She's sending all of her troops. Okay. So you should probably just send all of yours too. And just let them fight it out in the middle. Attack main force? No, just special. That sends all of them out to the front. Because that's what she's doing. Oh, uh, it says it's special as a defensive formation. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, just go to special anyway. Okay, then do just melee. That'll just send everybody. Yeah, to all force to charge, and they okay. just all go out. Sucks that the camera won't just stay at auto. I actually liked having a free camera, that way I can see what's going on. See, as soon as, as the bar hits, they'll they'll try to attack you. You have to be fast. Okay. Now the the thing she hit you with basically made your bar longer. So that now you have to wait even longer to use your attack. Some some enemies have attacks like that. They're not just attacks against you physically. Okay, let's see what his... Uh, he has the Sonic Boom, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, she has no troops anymore. See, your your ca uh, cavalry troops were, were a lot more effective against her soldiers. And they destroyed them all. And you've got 11 left, so now they're just going to go fight her. And I don't have any more magic points for another Sonic Boom. Oh, that's fine. You won't need it. He retreated. Okay, as soon as you get out of this fight, pause. Okay. Okay, they're running away. Okay, let them run away, because they're gonna run into that other enemy. Let's see what happens. Okay, they're running back to you. Just stay there. Okay, yeah, just encounter her again. Just try to capture her this time. You again, this routine is getting is growing tiresome. Okay, she doesn't even have any soldiers. Okay, who has the highest uh, HP? Rugger or Golom? I think Rugger does, right? Yes. Okay, just just take him. probably end up you've got five soldiers but um <clears throat> oh trying to hit on the terrorist yeah yeah just do like you did last time and just melee everybody out Yeah, special and special and melee. She may have too much pride to just retreat. Okay, so the generals can't actually go out and do the fighting themselves. Well, if you get to a point at which all the the troops are gone, then and the generals still have health and they haven't retreated, then they'll get into like a sort of auto duel. You haven't seen that yet. You don't have much control over it. It basically, if you have a lot more health than the other guy, a lot of times that means you'll probably win. It just depends on how strong you are against the other guy. 
because you don't really do anything in those duels. They just fight each other. Yeah. So now you've captured both of them. So that's good. Now you can go back to the castle that, that you had, uh, were trying to capture and just kind of heal up. Oh. Okay. That's just going to show you the captives that you have. If you direct your generals back to the castle, it'll ask you if you want to take your captive. Okay, so back to this castle. Mm -hmm. And then just sort of heal up and restock your uh, your troops. Because basically the castles that you own basically will, will as the time is running, the it'll they'll slowly restock their troop supply. Okay, do I have to worry about resources for rebuilding troops and Well, that's, like that's that? what I was just saying, is the castles will basically slowly, as time uh, goes on the counter, they'll, they'll basically, your castles will... Um... What, I, what I mean is, with a lot of other strategy games, you've got to, uh, you got to worry, about, uh, worry about building up gold or material or no, things like that. No, you just have to wait on time. To, to let the castles rebuild the troop supply. That's all there is, is just time. Okay, so recruit at this point. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have 180 max. You only have one man in reserve because you had, you had abandoned the castle while you were doing the fighting. So yep. it didn't belong to you, so there were no troops being built up. So you don't have any troops right now to recruit with. You can have up to 180 max from this castle, but you have to give it some time to build up. Alright, so maybe move these guys back to back to one of the castles that still have generals there? No, you just stay there for now. That would be my suggestion. And just let time run. Okay. But you're probably going to get back to domestic before then. Domestic fairs, back up. The thief Hilga that I spoke to has mistaken us for others. She thought we were Borgen's men. Is that what she was babbling about? <clears throat> Borgen? Who is he? He's a tyrannical lord who oppresses the land of Trevon. Hmm. I was unaware of this. I would like to hear more. Will Hilga speak more on the matter? Certainly, sire. Guards, bring in the thief. Yes, sir. What are you gonna do to me? Imprison me? Execute me? <laughs> do whatever you want. I'm not afraid of you, dog of Trevon. Behave yourself. Don't you know who this is? This is the King of Highland, Lord Vine. The King of Highland? Sorry, forgive me, sire. I've been a fool. Excuse me. Oh, she changed her tune quick. Yeah. Very sorry. Most humbly apologize. Very stupid. Sorry. You aren't Borgen's man at all. This Borgen seems to be the lowest of worms. He is that and much more. He's a plague on society. He charges heavy taxes and then lives in the lap of luxury while people suffer. The town, his town, is full of starving children. Why don't people cooperate to overthrow Borgen? It can't be done. The Flash Knights protect him. Flash Knights? So it seems that the key to defeating Borgen is defeating his guard, the Flash Knights. He would attempt to unseat that obese pig. I would gladly serve under your just hand. Your actions seem wise. I have no objections. Very well then, it is decided. We shall overthrow Borgen and save your town. Lord Vine, it is time for military council to convene. The polls report an increase in popular support. So now you give yourself a medal in one of the troop types that you already have. If you want to give yourself more cavalry or more soldiers. Okay. Alright, let's... We got plenty of soldiers. Let's go.
Now to announce this week's general role of honor. Parker has performed exemplary services. Galam has performed exemplary services. Thus concludes my general role of honor for the week. Okay, now you can go to awards and award the people. Well, first let's go ahead and say, well, maybe go ahead and award first. Awards left two, so you'll only get one per person. One award for each each of the two that, that got So so one for so one for Rugger, one for Galam. Yeah. I mean technically if you really wanted to get down to brass knuckles, not only could you not give either of them either of these awards and give it to someone else, but you don't even have to give one to Galam and one to Rugger. It's just, you know, if you if you want to do it the way the game tells you to, you can. Oh. I guess since I guess since I'm starting off here, I better I better try to try to keep things somewhat in order here. So yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and build up his build up his monks. Well, screw you then. Yeah, that's the thing about people who are basically your main generals is you don't have to worry so much if you don't give them an award. But at the same time, the awards basically up the number of soldiers they can have. So it is beneficial. Okay. I guess, run a, I guess I'll run a quick search. You can only do it on your main castle right now. Okay, I guess I guess Nina's the only one doing the searches. I think it's random. I think it's because she's the only one besides you at the main castle, so she's the only one there to search. Are you Cadus? We need your assistance. As a priest of Astia, I can't blindly enter a war. Sheesh, weirdo. Hmm. Nina must suck at doing this. <laughs> I think it's just the people that she meets. Okay. Let's see, see if you can fortify anything yet. No, not yet. And there's no sense in talking to your captives because they've pretty much have already said that they'll join you if you basically dethrone that other guy. Okay, I guess there's enough time to go uh, to go another week on here. Let okay. me let me see about handling this on my own. Sure. Yeah, one thing I definitely learned from strategy games, save at every opportunity. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, you can only save when you're in the domestic. Okay, so let's see. Now, there are a couple towns here that look that look to be open. Yeah, but towns you cannot actually visit. All right. You can only capture castles. Now, you can sit on a town like what they're doing, but you're really just waiting for what you're doing. All right. Okay. There are two there are two generals there, Ogrid and Lone. And there's and then there's this one I indicated before. Hickus. Yeah, you can basically go after whoever. Hickus might be a little easier. Yeah. Okay, let's see. You might want to go ahead and recruit uh, troops for your people. Okay. It still hasn't, uh, the reserves still haven't gone up that much. Alright. 
Oh, so you do have access to Hilga and Roth already. So they they must have went ahead and just joined. Okay, so uh, so. All right, Rugger, uh, Rugger seems to be the uh, seems to be the strongest one. Let's go ahead and go ahead and recruit her. Okay, you'll have to let a little time pass to build up enough troops to give uh, the other guy his troops. Okay. Okay, in this case, it'll be a one-on-one. -on -one. What? What does this guy have? He has ten cavalry. 10 cavalry against against 20 soldiers. Well, the cavalry is better against soldiers. So if you were going to send anyone out, you should wait to send Galan. Because at least they would be on an even keel. So so just wait, uh, wait through a week for... No, you don't have to wait a whole week. You just have to let time pass. You're on, you're on pause right now. Just let a little time pass and then pause it again and check the recruiting numbers because they'll go up a little bit. And people thought that just waiting for things to happen started with Shen mode. Yeah. Okay, check it again. Okay, you okay. got 39. Okay. Since, since probably nobody's going to attack you where you're located, I would send both Rugger and Galam just to be certain against this guy. Okay. You just have to pick who the the new leader of the castle is going to be while you're okay. going. Okay, I guess. I guess make it Hilda. Uh. Oh, I'm guessing. Okay, controls are more than a little finicky. <clears throat> okay, now since this is a castle, will he have any kind of advantages? Um, we can check. Hold it right there. For our protection, you must pay a toll, stranger. Mm -hmm. Throw me your coin pouch. If you obeyed our demands, we would have honored our part. But the time for words and honor has passed. No, uh, actually yes, he does get plus 20. Because he's the leader. And you stormed on his castle. But it's not really going to matter much. Yeah, just send Galam out and it should just destroy him. No. Sometimes generals will do that. They'll ask to be the one to be sent out. Yeah. Offense formation. Okay. All right. I, I guess. That's I mean, my opinion is, you overpower him. I wouldn't defend yourself at all. I would just send every troop out there and just destroy him. So melee. Yep. 
and just make sure when your timer runs out, hit the button real quick and do your special. Whenever it comes up. Because, like, like I said, those other enemies sometimes that have the uh, draining ability to make your bar longer. Yeah. Uh, they'll they'll do it as fast as they can if you don't get the jump on the button. Okay, he has the same power. But even though he destroyed a few of your troops, he still outnumbers you. We got two troops left. What happens if the clock runs out? Um, I think it just. I don't know. I think I've only run the clock out a couple of times. Most battles don't go on that long. And you, you captured it. But I, I think it probably ends the fight and both the generals just go back to their respective positions. So kind of like in Cold Sep, when if when you have when you have a battle and neither side kills the other. Right. Yeah, Cold Sept is another one that I have to that'll have to get covered on this someday. Yeah. Okay, now what my opinion would be is because now that you you have more castles, yeah, is you should um, okay. So the castle level increased on that one when you took it over. So go back to your other castle. Okay. The one, the previous one. Not that one. No, uh, no. Uh, you mean keep those guys there? If for now, just go back to the other other castle. And go ahead and recruit troops for those two, so that they're not just defenseless. Okay. Okay. And then see if you can... You may not be able to recruit any troops. Yeah, there's not any right now. Just let and just let the clock run at this point. Yeah, because I don't think you want to take on any more castles. Now that guy up there, that might be Borgen. Well, let's find out. Yeah, Trevon Castle. Yeah. What's the army look like? Oh. So it's two dudes, but it's also Morgan, so I, I think you might have to fight him at some point, too. Yeah, and both of these guys have cavalry. Yeah. Now, can't... Now, can I switch troop type for some of these generals? Only if you have an item to do it with. Now, some generals already have more than one troop type. The way you switch it is, uh, go to one of the castles. go to um, a point I think that's it just hit build it okay so that's just appointing the leader go to recruit Okay, she, she doesn't have, none of these two generals have different two types. So go to your other castle where you know at least one of those guys has more than one troop type. Okay. Alright, let, oh, let's say 
Rugger. He's yeah. yeah. He's only got soldiers. Yeah. So class. Yeah, and th there you can switch which troops they're using. Yeah, so there you go. But in order to get more troop types accessible to different characters, you have to search your castles at random intervals and find the metal items for different ones. It's completely random. There's no way to actively seek them out besides just searching and finding them at random. Now, is it a case in which the computer will... Okay, so I guess the computer does move on their own. I see in the corner. Oh yeah, there's stuff going on all over the map while you're just sitting here if you let the clock run. Like, there's a um, Reinhardt's kingdom. What are they doing? Scroll up. Oh, they're just going around to their different castle. And what's over to the left? I think that's Izumo. Okay, there's another uh, black black flag is always uh, like pirates and stuff. Green flag is the uh, Izumo Nation, which are the Beast Men. Basically, if it's black, if it's black, it's just it's just basically NPCs. While uh, he's while the other colors are the other nations. Yeah. And then, uh, well, wait, Izumo is uh, purple. That's the ninjas. Of the Samurai Nation and the, um, uh, go down to one of those green cast. A Bozak Nation. Yeah, they're the beast men. Alright. Basically, after you get Borgan and maybe the, uh, Borgan out of the way. Uh oh. Now, these guys pop up totally at random. They're like, uh, e magic sort of evil skull children. You might want to pause it whenever the dialogue is done. Okay, he's heading toward your main castle. Okay, how many people are in his army? Oh my god. Three so generals. Oh, oh, okay, um, go down to your one castle. That's below the main castle. Who have you got in there? Just, uh, just, uh, just this pipsqueak. Okay, send that pipsqueak. Uh, direct him up to the main castle. Hopefully he'll be able to get there in time. Actually, you know what would be a better idea? What? Okay, go back. Go to your main castle. Deploy everybody. Deploy Wayan and Nina. Yeah, and then direct them to the castle below you. That way you can, you can get out of the enemy's way, because there's no, like, there's not enough time to send Link all the way up there. Yeah, because Link would have never made it in time. See, they're coming after you. Okay, deploy him again. Okay, deploy all three. Just leave the castle. Yes. Okay, go to the next castle up there. Not the old one, that one over there. A while ago we captured the thieves' leader. She looks like the knight. Would you would you like to see her? Yes I will. If I could swear, she might cooperate with us. Lord Vine, it is time for military council to convene. 
Now to announce this week's General Roll of Honor. Okay, so since, like I said, with your main generals, it's not as important to give them awards to the right people all the time as it is for, like, recruits, yeah. I would go ahead and give this award to one of the other generals that you haven't used much in order to try to build them up a little bit, too. All right. Well, like Nina or Link. Yeah, because they've only got, like, just ten. You might want to try to have an audience on the cap or cap. Only got that one hiccus. Hmm? Talk to him. remote. Yeah. He joined you. So sometimes it takes several different tries across several different uh, domestic to get somebody to join you. It depends on how entrenched they are. Okay, at the very least, because this random fight was going on, you should probably uh, Go ahead and leave domestic and let let one more cycle run and then save it because you really need to remember what you were doing with this fight. Yeah, I guess I better. Okay. Okay, so our plan here is we're taking everybody and we're putting them into the... We've got three people plus two people in the castle up here and that'll be five people against three people. That should be enough to defeat them. Yeah, they won't catch up with you before you get there. Okay, go ahead and pause it. And well, I had to wait till they get there. Oh, okay. And then check your recruit, make sure everybody's full up. Okay. Nina, uh, Nina needs to get kicked up. Everybody else is good. That's right, they yeah, that's right, they don't have any other classes that they could switch to. No. Except for Vine except for Vine. Yeah, what else has he got? Give him uh cavalry instead, they're a little bit stronger. Now we're just waiting on the enemy to get there. Yeah, these guys will are annoying because they'll literally pop up out of nowhere at total random. But you have a, a benefit here because you have a terrain advantage. Now the interesting thing is there is a talk button. What that does is if you think that you might be able to just talk your way out of the situation, sometimes it'll work, but most of the time with enemies like this it won't work. That probably only works if you're if you're out to take one of the other nations, I guess. Yeah, sometimes. Alright. Alright. So what have we got on their side? We got 30 cavalry. Soldiers, soldiers, and cavalry. Okay, they're starting with soldiers. Alright. Okay, I probably want to save the cavalry for when they pit their cavalry. Yeah. I think Gaspar has the cavalry. Okay, so let's... Go 
go ahead and use the mage. She's the lowest level and go ahead and let her whittle him down a little bit. She's not very strong herself, but you'll be able to whittle him down a bit. Alright, let's see. Okay, he's, he's going all in. Now with mages, um, what's the round? Pincer, pincer attack. With mages, like, Yeah, just do defense. Or do offense, excuse me. Because we, we need more people firing. Okay, yeah, offense should be good. And then, um... Uh, do standby. And they'll just stay by. And just fire their their, 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 their wands. The ones in the front, front though, anyway. Whittling this troop down. Okay. Her special is resurrect. Yeah, you can't use that yet. It's just it's resurrecting okay. your your troop. Well, she also has a and she also has a spot for tactics. Is this for changing the strategy? Yeah. Oh, so we're gonna cut through the front line. Okay, now uh, pause it. Okay, everybody's get killed. Just do melee. Because if they just stand there, they're just going to all get killed. Okay, now try Resurrect. Here you might be able to see one of those. Yeah, duel. You, yeah. You don't do anything in this case except decide to duel or retreat. I think you can win it. You got it because you were high enough health. She's usually pretty weak. But and uh, but he had low enough health that it worked. All right, so you got one with the with the lowest level character. That's good. Okay, apparently apparently if it goes into a duel, it ends up killing the killing the general. I'm guessing. Yeah, if you if you do it that way. Hey, okay, he's got soldiers. Okay. Uh, just send, uh, what's her name? Helga. Yeah, she's about on par. Yeah, I always send my lowest level generals first, and so do they. And then they work their way up to, like, the highest one. Okay, what is he doing? Did you notice? I missed it. I missed it. Okay, just all out on him. That's probably what he's doing. 
Could that, since you're all soldiers anyway. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used auto camera. I just always use free camera with the with the D-pad. Okay. Oh, that's um. Chiba's dagger. She's one. That's one of those ones I was telling you about. Hit him with it. That's the one that makes his bar longer. Yeah, see? That's gonna take him even longer to use the special attack. Ooh, you guys are close. Oh, so there's at least three of your troops made it, and they're gonna go over there and kick his butt. The only it's thing amazing how funky this soundtrack is. Yeah, I know. I like the music in this game. Now it's going into a duel. Um, no duel. You've got lower health than he does. He probably wouldn't win that one. Fortunately, I do have another couple armies with soldiers. Yeah. In fact, this will be my time to use one of them. Yep. Yep, just use Rock. He's pretty low on the totem pole. But so is Link. And Link has a, has a couple more hit points. No difference in terms of the number of soldiers. Okay, that's fine. Just use Link then. You sort of you sort of starting to see where the strategy comes in. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to be pretty easy. All you have to do is like melee your troops on him, and then use your special attack. Troops move out. What troops? They just do that anyway, even if they don't have troops. Now, Disperse is an interesting one, because sometimes you can use the, uh, if you, if you use melee, you can't usually go back and change your tactic after you basically tell everybody to charge. Yeah. But if you use a basic advanced tactic, then usually you can go back and change it, and sometimes you can tell your troops to disperse, and they'll disperse off to the sides and keep going forward. And a lot of times that's good to avoid attacks that strike down the middle from the other general. Okay, it looks like it's going to go into another duel. Okay, you can win this one. Unless he dips out. No, he's not dipping out. Yep, we got him. Now, of course, it has to be Vine. But he only has 20 cavalry. One thing that I would do is go ahead and use uh, Rock, even though he has low stuff, in order to whittle this guy down a little bit. And then use Vine to finish him off. You, you might be able to knock out some of his troops all right. And then if it gets to a duel or something, you can just retreat. These guys are basically kind of like immortals. They'll they'll show up as the same three guys at random points during the game, and just try to and just ceaselessly try to attack you until you defeat them. Okay. You could use that. You could use that.
See, they're, they're going off to the side in order to try to get to the commander without being hit by the fruit this much. So you need to use your power. He oh, doesn't, he doesn't have, have any. Oh, he's pretty low in the totem pole. Oh, well. Okay, one, once your last troop falls, retreat. Okay, just retreat now. Before you die. Well, at least, at least their cavalry is knocked down to only seven. Yep, and that'll help out a lot. See, that's a tactic that I use some. What's really cool is when you get further on into the game, and you get troop types like dragons and zombies, and you, you get up to like, you know, 80 or 90 troops okay. on the board. It really becomes kind of a spectacle. You might want to just go ahead and melee the rest of your crew and get them out there. He's not going to make it. Yeah, and when it comes to these skull children, they'll always be slain. You'll, you'll never capture any of them. Now comes the point at which you have to get your, your generals back to their castles so they're not empty. Yeah. Oh, wait, pause it. There's a guy going toward the other castle over there. I saw that. At least, eh, at least I have defenses up. Well, what? Who are these people? Okay, it's just a pirate army. Who? Who is it? Just one. Eh, just okay. one smattering of soldiers. Okay. All right. So, as far as these guys are concerned, you might want to go ahead and recruit them with people. Just in case. Yeah, 
And the bad thing is, if one of your generals falls in battle, but the, but you still win, it basically means they get stuck in the hospital for a, for a, a turn. Okay. So now go ahead and deploy. Uh, go ahead and deploy some, a couple of the generals back over to the main castle. Yeah. Okay. How many generals do you have both? Okay, there are five here. And then two more up, uh, three more up in that other spot. We have Wayne, Nina, Link, Helga, and Rock. Yes, five. Okay, so. Let's get. Yeah. I guess then two to one castle, two to another, and leave one guy? Yeah. Okay. What I would do is I would leave one guy in the bottom castle down there at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Because that one's going to be the... Uh, Hilga, will, Hilga will be the leader here. Just send Nina by herself to that other little castle down there because it's going to be the hardest one to get through anyway. It doesn't need to be protected. Anymore. There we go. Oh, and also because you own this castle again, you get another uh, terrain bonus for the this guy attacking. Try okay. talking to him. Well, that didn't work. Oh well. Sometimes it does. But see, when you talk and it doesn't work, it goes straight into battle and you don't get to choose who fights. So that's always something to think about. I swear, negoti negotiating in the Civ games is <laughs> more grandiose than that. And apparently, with negotiating, that meant <laughs> with attempting to negotiate, that meant <laughs> that meant that I didn't get to choose which troops to use. Yeah, that's what I just said. You know, when you go into talk and it doesn't work, then the game just auto chooses for you. I think Guam was the leader of that castle. They may just pick the leader and have him go. Okay, so retreat. You don't have any troops? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I know I filled up the troops, but apparently with negotiating, this, this is what happens. Oh, I didn't think that, that happened. I, I, that doesn't sound right to me. But you can defeat him with one of the other guys. That's the only thing I can think of, considering the fact that I knew all, uh, I made sure all the troops were stocked up. That's weird. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Then again, I didn't do a lot of negotiating in the game. Sure, test on me. <laughs> Okay, let's see the monks in action. Okay. Alright, 20, 20 to 10 should be able to plow through them. Yeah, what's brief? Concentrated front, soldiers speed up. Yeah, you might want to do that one.
Now, even if you tell them to melee, basically, like, unless you specifically give them a tactic where they're supposed to go after the leader, they'll basically just keep running around until they get all, they, they'll follow the other guys through. I just remember people said this was pretty spectacular for the time, this whole 3D sort of like battle map. Yeah. I mean, and it is really cool. There's really not another game like it. Okay, I guess positive is that. Okay, see where he's going. It would be gold. Oh, he's going back there. What's back there? Oh, that guy. How many generals does he have? Four. Oh, yeah. And the fact that... Eh. Yeah, he's pretty high level. Well, I wouldn't try to chase him at this point because you're not going to be able to outrun him. Well, at this point, I should really just be building up defenses. Yeah. All right. He's just gonna go run, run back to Mama. They, they were apparently just sending him out as a test to see if they could take our castle. With just a little lone dude. Yeah. So you... All right. At this point, at this point, I'm looking at just running out the, running out the clock to the next session. Yeah, that's fine. So basically, your next, your next thing would be to try to defeat Oregon. That would be next on your list. And then maybe you would have enough stuff to be able to um, defend against those guys over there. I wouldn't even try going after, like, Reinhardt or any of the other major nations yet. Until you build up some more, uh, get recruits from some of these uh, pirate, net, little pirate armies that are going around and try to build up your number of uh, uh, generals. Yeah. Because at this point, you barely have enough generals to go around and just forecast. Okay. Domestic affairs. Okay, definitely build up cavalry. Mm. Okay, Rugger's got one. Nina's got one. Link's got one. Okay, all of those three are basically your main generals, so I would just use the points to build up whoever you think needs it the most, not those three. Because I know you've got some generals that basically have low, low troop, troop numbers. Okay. Like, if you give Hickus an award, I bet you he'd be more likely to stay with you. Yeah, not to mention he's right on the front line. He definitely... He stand to get built up. Okay, got three awards left. Rock, definitely.
Yeah, I think Link is low, pretty low, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the last person that only had 10, right? I think so. Yeah, so now I think he can just give the other little word to whoever wants. Alright. Since he's at the front, uh, since he's at the front, I'll give Rugger the next one. Build, uh, build up his monks more. Yeah. I guess the uh, sir. <clears throat> oh, you do have a cast. Oh, it's the castle where Nina is. Is Nina the only one who can search? There's probably something that has something to do with it. I've never really read up on it. Ooh, but battle armor. So you can give that to one of your troops, one of your generals. See if you can fortify it. Nope, not yet. So I guess see who you want to give the armor. Some some characters can't take certain items. Well, my thought is Rug uh, Rugger's the one. Uh, Rugger's the one leading the main charge. So uh, so if he's already got an item, you can't give him another item. Okay, well the other ones with him are Galam and Picus. Yeah. That definitely means he's going to be less likely to basically, you know, leave your employee. <clears throat> Alright, well. Well, now's the time to call it for tonight. Yep. Well, this wasn't nearly as intimidating as I was expecting it to be. Like I said, strategy has never been my strongest genre, so... Oh, I was definitely concerned going into this. Well, to be honest, you know, since I was here to give you a lot of tips on things, I think it would have taken a lot longer for you to have to figure all that out on your own. Probably. But in still, in a lot of ways, this game is not as complicated as a lot of people would think for, for a game like this. Let's face it. We have other strategy games on the Saturn, like Command and Conquer. But, uh, things like that would uh, things like that would definitely be harsher. Yeah, this is very much streamlined. Not to mention, of course, the trait uh, the traits of working designs are all here. Great translation, great artwork, all that kind of thing. And, and I like the fact that they basically created a backstory for every single general in every single nation. That kind of thing's not unheard of. My, and my mom has a game called Brigandine, which would probably be fe featured on Treasure Chest at some point. That one ha that one does the same kind of thing. Oh, yeah. So what'd you think? Like this little trip into unknown territory? Give a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Have any questions, comments, suggestions of other insanely rich stuff to try to load up? Drop them in the comments below or send them to my Twitter right there. Yeah, if you want to see us play more of Dragon Force, since this is the game that's not playable anywhere else other than Saturn, uh, you know, I'm sure there aren't that many plays of it out there. So if you want to see us play some more of this and uh, see how it goes, let us know. All right. Well, we're in football season, so next time it's time for another installment of the Unmaddens. Take care and game on. See ya.